Critics attack Fastos Kiyamo following arrest of fake lawyer who won 26 cases. Welcome to the news and thank you for turning in to listen. Please subscribe to our channel. Criticisms against Evasion Minister Fastos Kiyamo have heightened following the arrest of Brian Moanda, a fake lawyer who won 26 cases while posing as an advocate of the High Court of Kenya. Kiyamo, who is a lawyer's son, com politician, received backlash from his fellow countrymen following Barron's arrest, as many sides report the claims he has just won two cases out of 23 cases he handled for the EFCC, losing 19 cases and withdrawing from two. Renowned for a defensive post against the opposition party, it is arguably that Kiyamo had, required, had acquired enemies for himself. While many have ridiculed the minister, some shared views in support of the arrested fake lawyer whom they hailed a hero. Meanwhile, authorities in Kenya detained Brown Mwanda, who posed as an advocate of the High Court of Kenya. Before his arrest, the attorney handed 26 cases before the High Court judges, magistrate and court of appeal judges, all of which he won. Kenyan Entertainment News website Mpashu reported. Due to force it, Due to false pretense of the Law Society of Kenya Nairobi Branch Rapid Action Team, R80 detained him. It was gathered that when the rats received conference from the general population, Brian was captured. Wait, 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 hold on. Let me understand something. This particular lawyer, he's a fit lawyer. As in, he didn't go to law school, but he was able to win cases. How? How? Like, How? Hey, well, to me, oh, anybody we mess up, you know, it's uh, for goodness, you did not do it for one case. Let's say you, you, you lie that you were actually a lawyer, and you know, there was maybe your family member or the love of your life, and you went and stood in the line for her or your family member, and you know, you were able to win that case and you disappeared. Yeah, you know, at least you disappeared. It was okay, you actually did it, but um, I'm actually curious here. You not only did it once, you did it twice, you did it three times, four times, five times, ten times, twenty times, twenty-three times, twenty-six times. Wow. Huh. As for me, no one is above the law enforcement in our blessed country, Nigeria, and that is the only way the country can move forward. Harassing this young man is not bad at all. I remember the little girl, Miss Oma, now fake, now fake lawyer. So what about our so-called president with fake certificate forgery? Why are they delaying it? Because what you do to one, do it to the other, to show that no one is above the law enforcement in our country. Nigeria, Nigeria, what is student doing with fake certificate forgery? Let him resign with shame and disgrace. Well, me, I'm of the opinion, see, number one. Uh, if a fake lawyer in will stay, collect, you know, the food we cooking go chop him. That means the consequences of his actions, he is going to bear it. The consequences of his actions, he should bear it. Hmm. Okay. Imagine, imagine a fake lawyer winning 20 cases, right? Like, <laughs> I'm like, wow. How did this even happen? Did he study law? Did he not graduate? You, you, you understand? Was he, was he in law school? I would love to read the backdrop story of this particular one. Sincerely. You can now see what Nigeria is where it is. Failure people trying, okay. Failure people trying to manage a country. Habana, it wouldn't work that way. They say Festus is not a lawyer. <laughs> what is he? What is he? <laughs> Before I go speak to Murtek. What is his profession then? I wish he has gone to law school to be legally qualified to practice, though he's very gifted. I hope the authorities will be lenient and give him another chance at making things right. Well, now these kind of people, if you bring them in for another, uh, what's it called, that time now, let me use this scenario now. There's a hacker person many years ago, I can't remember the number of years, you know, this, this particular hacker hacked into different banks. Stole money as in uncountable money from these banks. And then when he was finally caught, I think he started working for the government then because they were like impressed, you know, with all the whole security, whatever, you were able to break through those security. Uh -huh. That means, you know, then go need them. And that now, so the guy used gay workshop. That is what I heard, so. 
First of Siyamo, Kiyamo is not a sound lawyer. I have repeatedly said this is a mere talkative. His position of sonship is still in doubt after losing 19 cases out of 23 cases, withdrawing one. Does this make a good lawyer? The answer is no. Always prided himself as a senior lawyer, even when the fifth lawyer in Kenya is far more intelligent than him. By the what are the criteria for sonship? Did Festus Kiyama meet all the requirements? The judiciary should look at his papers. Forgery everywhere. Now, hmm. oh, wow. This guy is good. Let Kenya government give him a automatic certificate and let him go to law school for formality's sake. Because some registered lawyers in Kenya might not have been able to achieve the great height. I'm telling you. Now, we're not trying to say, Mew, if in punishment, they make making self in punishment. And after seven in punishment, so they can take it from there. Seven the punishment is a thing of do you commit a crime, you bear the consequences. But at the same time, why are you bearing the consequence of your action? Was he remorseful? You understand the kind of character we show then and go make people cons okay. He's actually remorseful. So that was just, you know, well, let us do something more for him. All right, the brain of that man should not be wasted. Although he operated with fake everything, all the same, something should be done to help him in prison. You see, you see what I'm going, I'm going with this. So like I said, nothing should be, uh, what's it called? He should serve as punishment, but, but therefore he should serve as punishment. He claimed he's a product of CSU. I believe he cannot define plenty. People we should leave me alone. No. <laughs> In that I was Kiyama lost four cases because two that he withdrew from were as good as lost. He withdrew because he saw the cases were too complicated for him, so he knew he would lose them. You don't get it. Kiyama handed 23 cases for EFCC out of which he could only win two. That is the height of failure. F in capital letter. This is like scoring about 11% in an exam. Chai. Homo. We are saying the same thing but in different ways. He handed 23 cases he lost 19. He won only two. I withdrew from two. I am saying that those two withdrawals should be counted as loss to make the total losses 21 colossal failure. Hmm. Most of those Nigerian lawyers are signed up pretty with fixed certificate. That is why most of most have not come up on discussion about Tidembo's academic record, which was found to be forged. Kiyama, who has not won up to three cases, was awarded his son, and from time he was awarded his son. Okay, and he was awarded his son, and he became, he has become corrupt and support to illeg illegitimate acts of the ruling class. All right, Kiyama is a complete Oludo complete compared to this guy, senior advocate of nonsense. All right, on this note, we have come to the end of the news. We say thank you for tuning in to listen. Until I come your way next time, enjoy the rest of your day.